you could call Marblehead Mass the anti-Salem, its touristy North Shore neighbor. No t-shirt shops or tour buses clogging traffic here. Instead, visitors discover a harbor as breathtaking as it is storied, and unhurried roads that twist and turn as they meander down to the sea. People didn't lay out the streets. The cows laid out the streets in this town. That's why we bend everywhere and houses are put different ways. And by the way, there were people who will say, give me a straight way in Marblehead. I said, there's no such thing as a straight way in Marblehead. Marblehead's charm is eclipsed only by the lively cast of characters living here. Come on in. People like Wayne George, who tools around town in his 1957 BMW Isetta. One of his many passions is restoring antique yachts, like this recently rechristened vintage classic built in 1950. American classic yachts are coveted the world over. They're being shipped to Europe on a weekly basis, and it's so wonderful to restore these boats and see them sailing the, the coast of New England again. In 2004, George bought F.L. Woods, a store opened in 1938, selling nautical instruments, foul weather gear, and sailing apparel. Loving a challenge, George believed he could up the game in this creaky old building, using it to design and sell handsomely crafted American-made clothing. What we try and do is build things that are really grounded in sort of New England sensibility, quality, timeless designs, and we have found that the younger generation has a new appreciation for that. F.L. Woods is known for its stylish shirts, sturdy pullovers, and signature mariner's jacket, waxed and waterproof to repel any storm nature could throw its way. Oh, I like that. This is rugged apparel, created for sailors and all lovers of the sea. Some items even come with sewn-in messages of inspiration, like this quote from store founder F.L. Woods. May your colors fly freely and proudly for a long time. A statement that's so timeless today. Everything has a connection to some piece of yachting Americana. And Marblehead really is the seat of American yachting. Yachts are being designed, sails are being made here, boats are being built and restored here. And American maritime kind of heritage clothing is being designed and built here. Speaking of Marblehead landmarks, many who overnight here find themselves at the exquisitely appointed Harbor Light Inn. Recently, Vogue magazine called it one of New England's best kept secrets. There's a serene garden and pool behind the property, elegant parlors, a small cocktail lounge, plus 20 rooms for guests. Every room is totally unique, not only in the decor, but the size and the amenities. We have some great rooms with beautiful decks. One, room 34, has a rooftop deck. We have other rooms that have fantastic wood-burning fireplaces or jacuzzi tubs, so our guests get to book specific rooms based on their preference. Carolyn Conway Pyburn's parents opened Harbor Light Inn 33 years ago, connecting a second building two years later. Pyburn says her guests are from all over the country, but you'd be surprised how many come from Boston and even Marblehead for date night getaways. As innkeepers, she and her family urge all of them to park and explore on foot, preferably without a map. I just like to converse with new people and share the town with them and share this inn specifically because it is my family's place. I'm so proud of it, but I'm also incredibly proud to show off Marblehead because people come here and they've never seen a town like it. The Landing is one of Marblehead's go-to restaurants, whether it's for a beer after work in the salty pub or full dinner on the harbor. The unpretentious seafood eatery is known for their New England clam chowder, stuffed clams and lobster rolls. But the seafood festival is Chef Steve's signature dish. Pasta, so you're starting out great right there. Uh, but we have a, uh, a clam sauce that we do it with, or we do a red clam sauce. How about there's lobster, there's scallops, there's shrimp, there's mussels. So if you want to try to get the melange of seafoods, everything that we have to offer, uh, that's one of the great dishes that we serve here. GM Robert Simonelli says you can't get seafood fresher than this. The boats unload on the dock just below the landing. And the views of Marblehead Harbor don't get much better either. When we say you're dining on the water, it's literally on the water because the dining room is suspended with pilings. So you're right on the harbor right here. 
Simonelli says during the summer, the patron mix is 80% tourists, 20% locals. In the fall, that number reverses. And trust me, these marble headers are a hearty bunch. Is the deck open year round? It is, you know, we have heaters out there, little propane heaters, and there's sometimes in February where it's, well, I don't know, 40 degrees, the sun is out. So we put people out there, they huddle around the heaters, serve them out there, and they don't need their snorkel jackets. <laughs> If you haven't been to the landing lately, you'll notice a change. The bar now overlooks the water and they've built a function space that accommodates 70 guests. And Wayne George tells us FL Woods is now a global brand, thanks to an international group of sailors that was in Marblehead for a championship regatta. Competitors from Argentina, Italy and Mexico bought items from his store. Up next, we head to Connecticut's antiques capital and we know where to start shopping.